Happy afternoon to all. Uh, first of all, I wish to thank, thank to the organizing committee of PaperX uh, for giving me the opportunity in the panel to share my views about the packaging sector. Uh, I thank Mr. Uh, S. V. R. Krishnan for giving the broad outlook about uh, that uh, large-scale industry. He was talking about a large large-scale industry where uh, power plants are there and where uh, fully automation is possible. But I now want, I want to talk on behalf of all uh, medium scale uh, recycled industries because uh, they are the uh, large numbers present in our uh, country. So if you take uh, the growth of the paper industry in the last one decade from 2011 to 2021, uh, it almost the growth is 8% uh, in align with the GDP growth of India. So it, it is almost at par with the GDP growth of India. So, like uh, other sectors, India is also growing, I mean, uh, other in, in paper industry is also growing as per the GDP growth. In that paper sector, if you take uh, separate divisions uh, as uh, packaging sector, writing, printing, as well as uh, newsprint and other grades of paper sector, in 2011, packaging grade was contributing around 45% of the paper sector. It was producing around 4.8 million tons of uh, paper. Writing printing paper was uh, producing around uh, 3.8 million tons. It was contributing 35% of uh, the paper sector. And newsprint was contributing 20% 20 20 of the paper sector. Over the decade, because of various uh, industrial and economical investments and developments and digitalization, the industry scenario has completely changed. The packaging sector has grown multifold compared to the other sector. The writing printing sector has grown only 2.5 percentage and contributing, contribution has reduced actually from 35 percent to 22 percent in 2021. The worst hit is newsprint sector which was contributing 20 percent in 2011 has come down to 6 percent in 2021. Covid uh, uh, is also one of the bigger reasons for sudden uh, fall of the newsprint industry. If you take the packaging sector, it was producing 4.8 million tons in 2011. It has come up to 15 million tons in 2021. It's a good jump, almost 12% of uh, CAGR annual growth rate. It is almost 1.5 times of uh, GDP of India. So, if, if you look at the prospects of uh, these developments, uh, see it seems that packaging sector is the only future for paper industry. As rightly said by all the presenters in the morning, inaugural session as well as uh, other uh, meetings. So, other sectors of uh, paper industry are not growing that much, but packaging has a good potential to grow. E-commerce development and uh, several uh, industries, uh, foreign investments coming up in India is the main reason for the development of this packaging sector. Even though the pa uh, per capita consumption is very low in India compared to the world average of 55 kgs, still a long way to go for India. India has a great potential if the per capita consumption increased to the world average level. The consumption will be very huge and there will be a good potential for that. So now we have to look at all the industries, we have to look at what are the strengths, what are the weakness, threats and opportunities for the packaging sector. Based on that SWOT analysis, we have to look at how to invest and how to go about. If we take the strength of the packaging sector, it is a really wonderful opportunity for the paper sector because other alternative packaging is not available in a cost effective manner. Earlier metal and wood packaging was there and later cheaper packaging or plastic has come but because of the hazardous nature and non-biogradable nature it has been facing out now. So paper is the only alternative packaging available for the effective packaging. So, 
if you would take the overall Indian economic development and the growth of the packaging sector, there is internal competition inside the country also. Compared to four regions, if you take uh, North, uh, West, South and East regions, the contribution of North and West regions is almost 36 to 37 percent each. Whereas South region is contributing only 20 percent of the packaging sector. And East region is contributing only 8 percent of the packaging sector. The reason being, the Western ports are much cheaper to be to import the recovery fiber. So because of uh, lesser logistics cost to the Western ports, the paper is, uh, I mean, recovered fiber is coming from Western countries, uh, Middle East, Europe and uh, Northern American countries at much lesser price than the South Indian ports. Uh, the mother vessel feeding facilities are not available in all the South Indian ports. That is the main reason for this increase in logistics cost. So these are the status of uh, packaging between the each regions of the country. If you look at the opportunity for the paper industry, the GDP growth is expected 7 to 8 percent for the next decade. So the same ratio is the paper sector, the packaging sector also developing at 1.5 times of uh, the GDP growth. Automatically the requirement demand for packaging will be rising with the formula. This is only a prediction formula. It will be growing from 15 million tons to 50 million tons in another 10 years. Because last 10 years growth it is 8% GDP, so same growth we are putting. So India is self-reliant, moving towards self-reliant uh, mission. So the chances are better. So this is a good opportunity. So by 2050, India will be the highest population that too with the lowest uh, age, I mean younger population. So the potential to the purchasing power will be very high. So there is a good potential for development of the packaging sector. This is a good opportunity for paper industry. If you see at the weakness, what is the weakness for the packaging sector? The main weakness is the recovered fiber or otherwise raw material. Fiber is the main weakness. So we are depending mainly on imported uh, recovered fibers. Almost 7 million tons has been imported for the packaging sector out of 15 million tons produced last year. It's almost uh, more than 45 percentage of uh, waste paper, I mean recovered paper is being imported. That's, we are hugely depending on other countries. That is a big uh, weakness. So now Europe again is trying to ban the exports of recovered fiber and they are planning to recycle their entire uh, recovered fiber. So there will be shortage again uh, in the recovered fiber. Actually totally 24 million tons is the excess recovered fiber available in the western countries after self-consumption by each country. So after 24 million tons, the Europe alone is uh, exporting 8 million tons. These 8 million tons is cut off from the supply chain. The remaining 16 million tons only will be available. So where to go for the raw material? India will be recurring 50 million tons by 2030. Whereas uh, local recovery rate is only 50 percent. It means that 20, 20, 25 million tons will be recovered. Balance 25 million tons. Where to go for the fiber? Only 16 million tons available in the world. So that too is competed by China, other Asian countries. So this is a big threat. This is a big weakness for our package sector development. So all this put together, other threat is we Indian entrepreneurs itself, uh, we ourselves make threat to ourselves. Because we have to look at the what is the growth percentage, how many industries are coming, how much will be the competition, that we have to look at. And each industry should evaluate their SWOT analysis and then invest. But entrepreneurs are very eager and high attitude. They are investing so much with borrowing so many finance from banks. 
and after investing they are finding it's difficult to manage with the uh, investments. So we have to calculate what is the exact requirement. After that carefully invest so that this threat can be avoided. So regarding this uh, DCPPI part, our main focus will be addressing the raw material shortage. Here, there are three ways of uh, solving these problems. How to go about? First thing is, we have to improve the recovery rate of uh, used paper. Nowadays, a uh, lot of uh, waste, I mean, uh, paper is after using is going to the garbage. We have to do some things, few policy changes and few awareness creation programs to recover the paper to the 70% above levels. In developed countries, all the developed countries, the recovery rate is more than 75 to 85% each. So, suitable awareness program should be conducted to increase the recovery. And second one is the agricultural residues. In India, almost uh, one data is telling that uh, 500 million tons of agricultural residues are generated. After that, after uh, using for other usages uh, and fodder, almost 140 tons of uh, agriculture residues are getting wasted in the field itself or otherwise getting burnt in the field. I was just talking to uh, Mr. Ranil Kumar in the morning. He was telling, he was giving some inputs about uh, various uh, wheat straw and uh, rice straw. So, the using of rice straw is very difficult. Uh, the technology is not fully available. So, for that, the CPBRI is already working on that for developing technology and using that uh, rice straw effectively. If that uh, technology is successful and we can use it, all the rice straw available in the country, almost 100 million tons rice straw available. If we convert that 100 million tons into raw material for uh, our paper industry, almost uh, 50 million tons uh, fiber will be achieved. So for next 20 years, we need not worry about uh, any fiber shortage. So the steps will be taken uh, for suitable technology development through DCPPI as well as the Ministry of uh, Commerce and Industry. The third one is, even if we get the recovered paper more, it is almost 70% already we are doing. So only if the virgin pulp is available, then the sustainability of the recovered fiber can be possible. So that way, we have to develop wood-based uh, industries also. So, wood-based industries, we have to approach uh, uh, the government to use the unused lands by the corporates to get it on the basis of lease and uh, develop the crop as well as help the uh, agro industry also and paper industry also. So, by approaching in these three ways, we can overcome the fiber shortage of uh, Indian paper sector.